Welcome back, survivors and anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Call of the Wild, the Angler. So last episode, we decided to uh, expand our inventory a little bit, and are going to be trying out a few different means of fishing now. Uh, I think we tried a little bit of bait casting. I'm actually not sure if we did or not. There's no real tutorial up on the little wall at the first hub to kind of let us know how that has worked. But I'm going to just go back to this other spot where, again, as much as you do see the goal up there, I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'm just going to enjoy more of the act of fishing. I admit I was, I mean, like I did last episode, I was kind of whining and moaning and groaning about that. It still has some issues. I think I still do have a couple points that are justified in how I view them, but I'm not going to focus on them and drag everything down. We're just going to head out, enjoy more fishing, try some of these other techniques out and see how they feel. I thought there might be a little bit more to bait casting, but it doesn't seem like that's the case, or at least not from the starting area. Maybe, like, if I look at the map, I kind of want to go up there as one of the spots to try. Like, I'm just trying to think of where I could go after some of the fish I want to really go for, like, say... Um, rainbow trout, the kokanee salmon. So I think I have to basically just get in one of the jeeps and just go for a bit of a drive off to some pretty distant areas and see what comes of it. We've seen, I don't want to say majority of the species here, but we have seen a fair amount. There's been the large and smallmouth basses, we've had uh, the pike. Has it just been those three years there been another? Oh, we did get a rainbow trout. Which I was actually surprised that we caught one off the dock back at the start hub there. Uh, we got the random mountain whitefish that we could never seem to catch again. And yeah, there are still quite a few other species out there to go for. So this will probably be the last weekend on this body of water. Then we'll hit, take the, uh, the, 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 the jeep that we get and just go for a drive way off into the mountains. Yeah, I'm just going to work our way over to this area again, try under the bridge a bit, see if we get lucky, what have you, really. And just a right into here. A little left, actually maybe I won't do that, because just in case anybody is, gets a little bit motion sick from that. I thought just to screw around and kill a bit of time, but nah, maybe people might get a little motion sick, so we won't do that anymore. Let's go right under the bridge. See if there's anything interesting lurking right in the shadows of it. Okay, so let me just take a quick look at what this setup is. This is with the spinner. Oh, all right, gotta go through this again till I get the sweet spot. There we go. And yeah, we'll just try here for a little bit. See what all comes in. Probably try both setups. And I don't know if I'll spend all episode here or we'll just go... Oh, actually, what is that? Could that be what we're after? Is that a mountain whitefish? Oh, holy crap it is. It's actually a silver sizing too. Well, we ain't sticking around this place. We've been here long enough already. Now that I got that done, maybe I'll just quickly see if we can pound out or get those other two tutorials done quickly, see where they take us. And then we can actually say we got the hub hole finished this episode. And now that we're moving into the weekends, we'll be able to, uh... Uh, go for more species and, like, don't have tutorials. We can just free fish. But was that really all I had to do? Was be underneath the bridge instead of being beside the bridge? If so, oh, that is such a kick to the nards. <laughs> but it's done. It's out of the way. Thank God it's over. We can just take a quick look back, see if there's anything else for species-wise we want to get off that board, and just make do with everything else we've got. Because all we really have to do is maybe expand into a little bit more of, like, the tackle for what we want to use. And then just getting better 
mines, rods, and reels, and yeah, that's the entire kind of game in a nutshell. Wait a minute, I can fast travel. Why am I doing this? I kind of forget that fast travel is a thing in this game. I guess it's just because a lot of these, like, outdoorsy wilderness-type games, it feels kind of weird That's to just right. fast travel your way wherever you want, instead of just, like, going there yourself. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, Lake Trout we can't take. Rainbow Trout we can't take for some reason. Uh, we can't take the Channel Catfish. We got the Yellow Perch. Can't go after some... Kind of surprised why we can't go after some of these. Well, let's just do a Largemouth Bass. Ah, uh, do do and lure frogs. Salutations. You know what? Beautiful day we're having. What'll it be? Let's see about getting that lure frog. I think it was size six. It said for this. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. Okay, yeah. So let's change that out. Nope, oh, nope, that's not it. I gotta go back into that menu. Now this one, for some reason, you have to use the keyboard to go through and select stuff. Oh, why? Okay, maybe I can do it on... Maybe this one I can use the... I always thought it would be lonely out here, but honestly, I think more people need to get away from people. Okay, for some reason, it's not letting me, uh... There we go. I couldn't pick that for whatever reason... There's still more to buy! Come back! Yeah, for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me um, equip it from that little quick menu. I had to go into the main menu for that, so I don't know if that's like a little glitch or something. But we'll just call the boat, head over to the waypoint. I guess the boat's probably sitting somewhere in the middle of the lake there. Let's see if we can quickly get these down and out, though. Vroom, vroom. Uh, if we can get this one and the smallmouth bass, I maybe you have to go through, like, all the certain tutorials to unlock the others? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, they are right there, but for whatever reason, there's n not a way you can access them yet. So I don't know what's going on with those other species. But we'll see. If they do open up after getting, like, these last uh, tutorials done, maybe I'll try for them. Just so that way we have a fully loaded tackle box to go after anything we want to. This is taking us to a little bit of a spot we haven't been to yet. Oh, actually, hang on. Is that... No, no, those are just regular weeds on the edge there. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were, like, one of the invasive species or not we were supposed to keep an eye out for. Yeah, let's just start her off. Trying to think of how the stop and go method works. It's like sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. I don't super know. Or should I just try like constant with it? Uh, let me see what it says actually for that. Constant, stop and go, and twitching. Okay, so I can just constant with it. Oh, looks like somebody's interested out there. Gotcha. Yeah, you're coming in with us. Although you might be an okay size. As it's not a quick and easy reel, there is a little bit of a fight for it. And it is actually managing to pull out a bit of line, too. Oh, we got you, though. Yeah, come on in here, you. Ooh, actually, nice size. 
too. So there's a silver largemouth bass. And, oh, river catch, okay. Oh, no, we gotta go back into the seat. Oh, actually, we're taking this up river. Now we're going into territory we haven't seen yet. I think anyway, can we actually go up this? Oh, we can, it looks like, okay, there's way on both sides of this little island here, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go around this right side. It looks like it's a little easier to navigate. And we just swoop in. And follow this. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, we're going the right way, pretty sure. Yeah, it just does this. Just making sure. Although it's looking like it might be a bit... Oh, we might not actually be able to bring the boat in there. You know that, or just gotta go the fur. There we go. Okay, far away around. Yeah, this is a bit of a shallow river, so you gotta be careful how we get through here. I think it's gonna be smooth cruising from here, though. Uh, maybe. Although that looks like it's kind of uphill. We might have to be going on foot for a while, actually. We'll have to see. Yeah, looks like it's actually going to need us to go on foot. So, you know what? Okay, let me see if I can back us up a bit, and we'll uh, step up onto land here. Okay, I will leave that there. It's not too far off, but we can't reach it by boat. We gotta go on foot. So let's go for a little bit of a jog. Actually looks like, I wonder, I thought for a second this area might have been through a forest fire because like the almost like ash around that trunk there, but I don't know. Okay, well we're closing in at least. Yeah, if we can get this one done pretty quick, we'll fast travel back, try the smallmouth bass. These tutorials, I think, are going to go much faster. The whitefish, I think the big problem was, again, I... The game keeps resetting to, like, the start of the day for when I want to do the recording, so I'd either have to let the game run for, like, an hour or so, so that way it gets to night, then you easily get it, or... Just, again, dumb luck at getting the right spot to fish at. Here we go. Oh, and a lookout tower we can even hit, too. Me? Nope. Well, speaking of fish, we already see one right there at the water's edge. Let's see if we can get this nice and quick. Now, I'll try to get this fish before we fast travel out of this area. We'll hit the lookout tower just so that way we can get an idea of what's around us. Actually, the one we saw is going to be our... Come on in, you. Yeah, your jumping's not going to save you, though. Nice, quick, easy, basically, as soon as we get here, it's already done. And there's a few more credits. So, Lookout Tower is just up over this way. We'll go climb that, see the vista from it, maybe get an idea of what's around this area, too. 
And then fast travel and get that smallmouth bass mission. Oh. Oh, this. White pine blister rust. Oh, it's a daggone shame, but it's part of the job. Find me more if you can. Okay, well, there's a little thing found and done. Now, lookout tower hit. We'll just climb our way to the top. And fast travel back to uh, the main hub. Or, well, the first hub. Outpost, whatever you want to call it. I heard, like, a growling. Obsidian was used to make cutting tools, weapons, and especially arrowheads. Those arrowheads have been found as far as the Mississippi, which means the locals were likely trading the precious stone to other tribes. Okay, and that's that done. So we have a few little spots that have been uh, revealed here. I don't think there's anything else uh, to grab or snag. So yeah, we're just going to keep things nice and easy and just try finishing up with the uh, smallmouth bass tutorial. And that should let us be completely free and happy to go, for af go after anything else we want. Again, I don't know why we can't select the others, but... Okay, let's see where it wants us to go. That weather, right? It's really doing whatever it's doing. Anyway, down to tungsten tax. Okay, since we already got the... ...peach and stock tailor-made for you. Seven foot, medium heavy, all around top water rod. Sound great? Goodbye for now. Yeah, they definitely gave the NPCs a lot of voice lines, but it's a game like this, I don't know how much you're going to be around for them. Oh, it says Lake Shore Catch. I thought... Oh, yeah, okay. I guess just over here will do. You know, let me quickly read up on... Oh, hang on. Wrong one. Just anything in regards for, like, the journal for the smallmouth. Small thouse carnivorous fish eating anything from plankton to smaller fish. Golden Ridge Reserve, these fish are found in the shallower water bodies from rivers and ponds to shores of larger lakes. Look for them in shallow waters at lower elevation. A smallmouth bass is colloquially known as the pound for pound best fish to fight. I surprise you with the power they show for their large size. Even more ferocious than their largemouth cousins make for an incredibly entertaining catch. Work. Okay, it says it wants, but it wants me at the waypoint out there, so I guess I gotta grab a boat and do that. Can I even get, yeah, I should be able to. Okay, I wasn't sure, just because it said lake shore, I figured, I guess they mean cast towards the shore and reel in. Let's just grab a boat quickly, try and knock this out before we end this episode off. I'm hoping it'll be as smooth as Largemouth was, because, again, I knew as soon as we get to these two, they'd probably take no time at all to be done. Hop aboard. And just right in through here, and then we'll be able to try. Although we do want to mind what's in the water a bit. So, you know what? We'll try with uh, the bait cast. Oh, hang on. Oh, you again. There we go. Okay, yeah, so we'll do that and see if we can get a strike and bring something in.
Eh, nothing so far. Maybe I'll even try switching out what we got on our first rod. Instead of the frog, go for like the spinner or something, because we've gotten a lot of hits with that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's quickly bring her in. Okay, take you. There we go. Now see, now that time it wanted to let me click for that, so I have no idea. Nope. I think that's already a small mouth right there. Come on in, you. Yep, yeah, small mouth bass. Okay, send you back out. And where's it want us to go now? River catch. Oh, wow, that's actually super close. Yeah, not even half a kilometer away. Okay, we'll be able to knock this out no problem. Here we are. Hey, you know what? Let me see about getting us into a nicer position. Can we get the front of the boat? Yeah, there we go. And just reduce it down to real speed two, and we should get something in no time. Well, maybe not that cast, maybe the next one. I'm just, again, I'm amazed at how big of a difference in speed it's been between, like, the tutorials. And that's my advice. If you guys are stuck on the mountain whitefish, go literally underneath that bridge. And I just, again, used the spinner that has the hook size 7 for it. That seemed to work. I think if you are able to let the time of day cycle around, it's easier to catch them, but... Hey, at least we know you can get them in the daylight, too. It just seems to heavily depend on location by even, like, a few meters. Hmm. Let me try over that way. Yeah, we'll go down to just one for speed. Like, I'm kind of surprised that it is taking as long as it has for anything to strike here. Unless maybe I gotta go even further up the river? Or further upstream? Yeah, nothing has even come for a strike, or like we. I can even see anything in the water. Try a few more casts, and then maybe I'll try adjusting our position a little. Oh, there we go. I think that's what we're after right there. We just had to go into more shallow water. Come here, you. There we are. Yeah, another smallmouth. 
Release. All done. Like, God, it is amazing the difference in time they took. But at least those are all done. Those tutorials are out of the way. I just want to take another look at the board. Is anything... Okay, now we've opened other stuff up. Okay, so... Maybe I'll leave... Oh, but... You know what? I wanted... I mentioned I really want to go for the kokanee salmon, so I'll see about this first. Kokanee salmon are found exclusively at higher elevation Golden Ridge Reserve. They prefer the coldest rivers and streams, and while they can be found in lakes, they'll mostly stick to shallower shores. These bright red fish feed mostly on plankton, but will also eat insects and crustacea. Look for them in cold waters, high elevation. Salmon strike the lure without much warning, and will do whatever they can to escape from the hook, including snagging your line on obstacles. They tend to use the flow of the water to their advantage when fighting. Okay, so what do they recommend for it? Read the basic info. Get the recommended gear. You didn't mention what the gear was, though. So let me just take a look at them in the handbook. So, crankbait, jerkbait, and grub. So actually... Lovely afternoon for a fish. Or perhaps a purchase? Now see, that's not even registering right, so maybe it's because of their size, because they are such a larger fish. Crankbait, jerkbait, and grub. Maybe they want a jerkbait. Get your gear here. I'll let you in on a secret. I did say we were all about deals down here at Taylor Shackles. And no, no we are. But we're also all about jerkbaits. Go on, give one a try. You won't regret it. What piques your interest? Hmm. Okay, maybe I need a more powerful reel and a line. The Othello is a throwback that feels like a step forward, boasting a high density carbon. So what is this? That That's point three four. So phase of fishing. Let's go for the optic. The optic is a precision spinning reel that feels like a perfect pairing with any mid to long length rod. Okay, that. You can get the optic with. Why does that not? Oh, it's only point three. See, that is the recommended gear, though, isn't it? Okay, that's confusing because. See my sister around? She took to photography. To water. Should be near a river somewhere. Like, what is the recommended thing then? Is it. Okay, that's a little bit in. I. There's something specific it's wanting. But I don't know the what that is, is in particular. Distributed salmonid fish of Western North America. It's a fish of mountain streams and lakes, favoring clear cold water and large deep pools of at least three feet. Mountain white fish are bottom feeders, but, stirring up the substrate with pictorial. Again, it like didn't even give me the one I was actually selected on for starting to give me the rundown. The guy will pair you for finding catching kokanee salmon by ringing up speed about recommended gear, fish behavior, Wish best I spots. Spend more time fishing and less time behind this chaos. Even when I'm serving customers, but I'm there's nothing fish in, in my here head. to go off of. It just says to keep getting the recommended gear, but I don't know One what the recommended the gear is. Like I don't know if they want we uh. Got some of the best barge going. Piping hot and sprinkled with sunflower seeds to stir even the sleepiest waters. Uh, see, I've got a grubs. I don't know what they want. I don't even, like, is the hook size has to be something specific? This is where the game can be a little weird at times. Like, it doesn't say anything about hook size there in the handbook. 
It doesn't say anything about hook sizing there either. It just says aggressive hard fighter and jumper. The smallmouth bass is a species that's of fresh David. water. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the recommended a gear few years is. Ago, I was working in a business a million times the size of Taylor Sackles. This one's tailor made for me though. You've come to everyone start somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smooth. I think I'm just going to have to go to my fallback and just have my own time and trying stuff out like I don't understand what it's looking for for the recommended gear because it didn't list anything. So yeah, next episode, I'm going free fishing. I'm taking all my crap and just going out and seeing what I can do. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Called Wild the Angler. If you did like the video, you should give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, tricks, or you know what the recommended gear is, be sure to leave comments right down below. I think I am going to do... I gotta see how this cold affects me because I am still coming down with one. If... I can, I might do more the angler this weekend too to kick off it if moving to the weekend. Play, you've heard him talk about his son. One in, one out. Ah, I'm running away from all this. I can be. Buy something next time, okay? Okay. Now I have some silence. So yeah. If you guys know the recommended year, let me know and then I can start saving up for all that. It is weird it doesn't give you specifics of what the gear is and it kinda locks you at this point. So I'll have to just work and see. But thank you guys for watching. And until I do catch you in the next video or episode, Anglers and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.